So you're interested in the real estate market here in Granbury. So stay tuned. Today we're going to do a deep dive into uh, the real estate market and giving you an update through July 2023. So we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every day that are thinking about relocating here to Granbury, Texas. You know, whether you're planning to move in, say, nine days or even 90 days, feel free to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love the chance to connect with you. We get questions all the time about the real estate market here in Granbury. Uh, people want to know how hot is it, how easy is it to find a home, um, you know, back in the heyday, 2021, 2022, when the real estate market was going crazy, uh, people were having a hard time relocating here. Uh, they were selling a house in California and they were relocating here to buy a home. And by the time they got here, you know, to see a property, the property was already sold. Um, and so people want to know what the real estate market is like now. Obviously, everyone knows that the real estate market has slowed down. Um, back last year, uh, the feds um, started increasing interest rates and they did that every 30 days consecutively for multiple months. And over, the, over that process, interest rates more than doubled and the real estate market went through a very steep decline. It slowed down um, pretty significantly. Uh, with that said, the fact that the real estate market slowed down from the hottest real estate market of all time does not mean that the real estate market is bad or that the housing prices are just in a free fall. That's not necessarily the case. So what I'd like to do today is jump in and take a look at some of the numbers for Granbury, Texas. So as of May 2023, so this data is pulling from um it's compiled over a, a several month period. The median price for Hood County is down 5%. Now to put that in perspective, the house prices were up about 20 to 21% this time last year. So with that said, the 5% decrease is not that significant. It is, it is a fact and it needs to be accounted for, but um, at the same time, it is kind of the, the, the market rebalancing itself. Active listings are up 100%. So however many listings were on the market last year at this time, it's increased by 100%. Uh, closed sales are actually up 15%. Now you may ask, why would the sales be up if the market has slowed down? Well, the reason is, is because there's more inventory. So there's 100% more listings. So if there was 100 houses on the market last year, this year there were 200, which means there was more opportunities for a sale. Um, that said, the reason why the prices went down is because there being 200 homes on the market instead of 100 means there was more opportunities for the buyer to choose from and they were able to negotiate uh, a better deal. Months of inventory are 3.6. Last year, we were at 1.7. 1.7 so the time it would take to sell all of the homes currently on the market has doubled since last year the days on market we're looking at a total of 83 days so it takes 54 days for the home to go under contract and 29 days for the home to close once it's under contract so to put that in perspective we were averaging around 33 days um, 25 days actually in april of 2022 but about 30, 33 days was, was pretty typical, you know, when the market was moving at a very rapid, rapid pace. I've also pulled some numbers here uh, for Granberry houses between 200 and 500,000. There are 201 properties that are currently available, 68 under contract, and 229 have closed in the last 90 days. 500 to 700,000. There are 85 homes available. There are eight properties that are currently under contract and there are 51 that have closed. And then last but not least, we're gonna look at the 700 to 1.2 million. There's 52 homes that are currently available. Seven of those are under contract and 38 have sold in the last 90 days. So with that, um, that gives you an idea of, you know, where most of the volume is. 
the five to 700 range is a pretty significant group, but still two to 500 is gonna be the majority of home sales. And those are really the driver of home sales because the people that are selling those houses typically are gonna be moving up and upsizing, buying a more expensive house. And so that's where the, the dominoes start um, for most of the Granberry properties. That said, Granberry is a very big relocation spot. So we have a lot of people that are relocating here that are not necessarily locals that are moving up. It's a, it's a big destination. A few things to note. Uh, one of the reasons why Granberry's prices have held pretty steady is because of the moratorium on uh, wastewater that was put in place several years ago. Uh, that has slowed down new construction projects. Therefore, there's a lot less homes available than there would have been if there was a viable sewer solution for installing new neighborhoods. So that's something to, to definitely take an account of when we're looking at um, the, the overall real estate market. At some point in the next, hopefully two to three years, the sewer system, the wastewater management system is gonna be built and installed. And then you're gonna see a flood of permitting that's going to, to hit Granberry and you're gonna see these neighborhoods really begin to develop. With that, um, there's great opportunity to invest in real estate in Granberry. Um, it is an opportunity right now because as it develops, the real estate market and the real estate, um, prime real estate is going to become more and more and more expensive as more and more neighborhoods are built out. That provides more commercial value for companies to move in. Hopefully, um, if you're here and, and you know the sometimes traffic can get pretty tough, you know, um, in the afternoon. Hopefully there's some solutions to infrastructure. I know they're building the bridge over the train in Crescent, and that should be a, a, a huge help for those that are traveling to and from Fort Worth, but hopefully there's some other changes they will make to some of the infrastructure roads um, to, to ease some of that difficulty and pain that some of the residents here at Grand Barrier are feeling. So with all of that, uh, that's a pretty good idea of what the real estate market is like here in Grand Barrier. Um, interest rates were sitting, you know, in the high sixes, high six percentages, you know, the last I checked. And um, I'm hoping that those interest rates will um, trend downward toward the end of the year. Um, I know the Fed um, had a meeting the day before yesterday, and they indicated that these rates are going to stay a little higher, a little longer than what most people thought, you know, a few months ago. They're anticipating doing two more rate hikes and Potentially next year, we could see them, um, you know, stabilize, and then the year after that, begin to come back down, which would be 2025. I don't anticipate rates going below 5% for a very long time. But the way the the Treasury yields and all of that work, um, even if they do rate hikes, there's a good possibility that we'll be at a low six by the time the December, or March of next year rolls around. So that would be the hope. Again, um, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about um, any changes in the real estate market. Um, I'm gonna do my best to keep you up to speed with, with what's going on. If you're in the market for a property, whether that be a vacation home, a lake home, land to build on, even if you're an investor and you're thinking about looking for properties to invest in, we would love the, the, the chance to connect with you. Even if it's something that you're planning to do in a year from now and you'd like to just touch base, get an idea of uh, some of the more specifics about the, the market here in Grand Barry. I'd love the chance to connect with you. You know, um, it, it'd be an opportunity for us to maybe chat over a Zoom, uh, or we could, you know, grab coffee one day if you're in town visiting. And if, if I don't, uh, I'll see you around town sometime. Thank you.